Well, what I'm going to be doing today is showing you how to make this infinity mirror. And these are brilliant. They sell really well and people love them. They come with the mould, the lights and the mirrors. And you can get hold of more of these quite easily. The mould is so easy to use. All I'm going to do for this one is add some colours to it. Now, I'm going to use my chrome markers for this because I love the way they come out and they do actually sit on the mould really well. But these ends are a little bit too big to get in there. So how I'm going to do it is I'm just going to squeeze some of this chrome paint out onto my silicon mat like this and then dip in one of these micro brushes and then I can use that to paint in the chrome and leave that to dry on there and it works really well doing it like this it gives a great effect and it does allow you to be able to put in different sizes and shapes now leave these to dry for at least half an hour before you pour any resin in well this is nice and dry now and it's ready to have the resin poured on it i'm going to be using the four hour demold resin by j diction because i want it to be quick and I really like it. It's a lovely thick resin. I'm going to put some black in it once I've mixed it up. This is excellent UV protect, crystal clear, high gloss, odorless, non-flammable and BPA free. And it's a one to one mix. And you can really, really get it fully cured within eight to ten hours. But the, what you must always do with this, and people don't do that with most of their resins, is if it's a cold day, you really need to warm this up in a water bath so it's above room temperature. If not, it's not going to cure as quick. And that goes for all resins. No resin should be used cold. So now we've got that all mixed up, what I can do is pour that in. Now there's lots of little nooks and crannies in this, so I'm going to make sure that I get everything full. So I'm going to put a little bit of this black resin in there first like that in these bits and then do some squidgy widgy here to ensure that i've got as many of those side bits filled up as i possibly can how did i make a mess with that i was only pouring it in here i apologize for being so messy people right, it's just me so now i've got that i can fill that up a little bit more now you can do these clear, you can do these any colours that you wish to do them. Honestly, they look amazing. Massive thank you to all my members whose names are coming up now. I really do appreciate you all. I hope you're having as much fun in the members group as I have. If you are, let people know in the comments below and we can grow the group a little bit more and get some more like-minded crafty people in there. So we'll now leave that. I'll burst any bubbles that come up using a long neck lighter, never a torch. Remember, you don't want to be ruining your molds and we'll leave that to cure up now for about four hours quite cold here today even though i've got the heating on in my studio so i actually might leave it about five hours but we'll come back to it we'll check it in four now this is all fully cured it didn't take long to cure actually it was fully cured within four hours we can gently demold this and it should have taken on some of those colors that i've put on here and it will have removed those colors off the actual mold itself yeah look at that that's come out really well I like that and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some more details to this along the actual piece as well and these will become a little bit more mirrored because they'll be on the surface of the actual thing as opposed to and this work these pens work amazingly on resin and these are going to be looking a little bit more mirrored rather than the little well they're still quite mirrored there but they're more patchy which is what i wanted to go for on that bit and then i'll show you how to put it together okay well this comes with everything that you're going to need as well and here are the little lights so let's undo these and these come with a sticky back to them to be able to put them on. And you want to be able to put the cord in there and then take the sticky back off like that. And then put your lights on here neatly all the way around, making sure you put your cable in there. Thank you, Will, for suggesting I make a video on this as well. He has made some amazing ones of these. They look awesome and he's one of my members and if you want to become a member of my channel then the link for that is in the description below we have a great time now let's just make sure that they work before we do anything else yep they work fine you get two different types of mirrors you get one that's translucent -y, and you get one that's completely opaque and it's the opaque one that you need to ensure you put on the 
back of the eye, uh, not on the front. Because if you put it on the front, you won't get the effect. And just pour off the plastic, and then you can put that on the back. And it fits in there really well, like that. But you do need to glue it in, and I'm going to use a little bit of super glue going all the way around to glue this in. And all I'm doing is dropping a little micro brush in there and putting some super glue on my rim here. And then I can pop my mirror in. And that will stick on there really, really well. Clean it first. Make sure I've got it all nice and clean. So you've got a nice little mirror there. And now this is the semi-translucent one. Again, it has film on it, but it has film on both sides of this one. Now take that film off without scratching your piece. Okay, and you can see now that that is a little bit translucent. And again, I'm going to glue that on here exactly the same way. Popping a little bit of glue all the way around. And that won't take long to dry at all. That will dry really, really quickly. So get your mirror in there, making sure you've got it pushed right down. And then we can let that dry. And then when you turn that on, that's what you get. You get the infinity mirror that works. Look at that. That is awesome. And they are such great sellers as well as I can contest and I'm sure Will can contest as well. They really make a great night light and they give a great effect. I like this. It reminds me of the Stargate from the Stargate SG-1 how I've done this but you can decorate it as however you like but look at that infinity mirror. Woo! Woo! Magical! Looks like you could dive in it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this project. I've really loved making this. I will link everything in the description below. So don't worry about that. Everything will be there so you can get hold of it. Check out the video that I've got coming up next. I think you'll really enjoy that one. I look forward to seeing you over there. Book that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And most of all, enjoy your resin. Take care. Bye.